lighting in here is actually really nice and my room lighting today is not doing it for me. Eventually I need like a ring light or something because it just some days does not work. Especially in the winter, my room does not work. But today I want to do a stuffed animal haul. I've been seeing them. I feel like my head's getting cut off on here. Is it? Does that bother you guys? I might just come closer. I don't know. I hope it's, is that, that's bothering me a little bit. If I can hold them like, do you need to see my face? I don't know. Do we, do we, wait. Do we like that? I think this is nice. Okay, this is good. Anyways, today for you guys, like I said, I'm doing a stuffed animal haul. Please, if you guys like these kinds of videos, like it up, share it, and subscribe to my channel down below. I put out new videos all the time throughout my day-to-day -day life. I have a vlog channel, Gabby Vlogs. Everything will be in the description box. Please, uh, I, I really hope you guys like this video because once you see how much there is, I didn't realize I had this much stuffed animals and getting them all together, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so many. So I'm kind of trying to be like a pro fast YouTuber today and description box down below, I'll be having um, like time points where different ones are because I kind of like put them in the sections of if they're like Disney, Build-A-Bear, uh, Sanrio. So I want to get into it. I'm really excited. You kind of see them like flowing in, don't you? I'm going to start with Build-A-Bear since they're just like all laying here right in front of me. So I actually got this Build-A-Bear from the... Goodwill. I was going to say flea market. A lot of my stuffed animals I do get from flea markets and Goodwill. Sometimes I do buy them if I think they're cute enough. But that is the Hello Kitty uh, special limited whatever edition like Halloween one from Build-A-Bear. She's just missing her bow. I've always looked into getting the bow online but like I don't have hopes I think I'd find it. This is my other Build-A-Bear. I think I'm missing one actually. I'm definitely missing one. I'm going to have to go back in my room and look. But uh, this is my pink Build-A-Bear Hello Kitty. Again, I got, I think she might have been Valentine's Day edition, but I got her, uh, I think I found this together, Flea Market or Goodwill as well. So I'll put that one there. There's one over there and one in my room, so two seconds. So I found her and a bunch of other ones that I just brought over. This one, unfortunately, is a dirty mark I just found on her head, so I'm going to have to scrub that out. And I don't know where her bow is because this one, it was actually purchased for my 20th or 21st birthday from a friend. I love this one. She put little underwear on it and a little t-shirt because, like, I just love roaming around in an underwear and t-shirt, I guess. But, uh, she has her bow. It's, like, a sparkly one. I have no clue where the bows are, to be honest. They're just, like, they fall off all the time. That's just what I feel like. And then this is, I got this my 20th birthday. You know, I got those at the same time, actually. It was my 20th birthday because I got it from an ex-boyfriend. I really, really, really wanted this Hello Kitty. And yeah, they got it for me and I still have it because I'm not like one of those people where you break up with someone and I'm just like, I have to get rid of everything. Like I kept it because I love stuff animals. I love Hello Kitty. So I just got her and she actually has her bow on, which is good. The only thing is Build-A-Bear like has this issue about closing their stuffed animals properly and like actually like tightening and making sure they're closed. That kind of annoys me, but it is what it is. Next up for you guys, I have Pika Pika from Build a Bear. I actually made him at Build a Bear, and Douglas bought him for me. Uh, was this birthday or Christmas? Some kind of occasion. My boyfriend got me the Pikachu one, and I regret not getting like I guess they had Squirtle, they had Charmander, so that kind of sucks. But I got Pika for my little collection. And last but not least, I have another Halloween Build a Bear. This one says boo on its shirt and it just has candy corns all over it. Backstory is funny because I got it at Goodwill, but like weeks before that I did see it online and I was like, that's so much money on eBay. I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to pay that, whatever. And then I found him. So it worked out. He came to my house after all. I'm just going to like cut my face out and move up into the frame. I hope you don't care. This is a stuffed animal haul. This isn't an all about Gabby video. <laughs> Anyways, like... Oh, by the way, can I just say, I'm getting comments again that, like, I'm not 24. Wow, this hair. Maybe, girl, you don't even need this hair tie. That I'm not 24 and blah, 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 and I have no tits. And, yeah, I know I don't have any boobies. I'm sorry. You want to pay? Moving on. I, wow, I didn't honestly think I'd have this many. So the first two I'm going to show you, I'm actually debating about selling them or all together as a pair. If you didn't know, I have a selling page online. You can check out on Instagram, Little Sweet Sales. Everything's in the description box down below. But these are the Victoria's Secret Pink Dogs. I have a set of four. I have this one that I just got in my last video. I got this one that I just showed in my last video, this 
metallic-y one. These are actually really cute. I don't know if I'm gonna sell them, guys. And then I had these two originally in my collection. My Vote Pink with the little stars. I don't know, I just, I've always liked the Victoria's Secret dogs. I think they're the cutest little things. I always find them on eBay too, and you can see the kids like scribbled in eyes and like a mouth for them. That makes me now I'm gonna bring you some Sanrio Realness. This I got at a flea market for like four or five bucks. It is huge and massive. It is the little charcoal cat or whatever his little name is. And like I said, he is like huge. There's my body, there's him next to me. So I have him in my collection. I love him. He's so stupid. I was gonna say stupid cute. He is stupid cute. I have this little Hello Kitty that my friend gave me, Lexi. Hi Lexi, if you're watching, you're probably not. None of my friends, I like how I did that, because I have like two best friends and that's about it. But none of my friends, they don't watch my videos. And you know what, that's a real true friend because they have enough shit of me in their lives. They're watching this like, mm -hmm, mm hmm So like I said, I have her. And then I have a whole TY collection of Hello Kitties. I'm gonna do my TY collection next. I don't really have a TY collection. I don't care for TYs, but they're Hello Kitties. Uh, yeah, I love them. So I have that with the glasses. I have this little wintery one. I have my little Hello Kitty. It's like a cheetah rainbow. I love her with the glasses again. We have a rattly baby one. I love these pastel colors. I think it's simply just so freaking adorable. And then we have this little girl right here, a Valentine's Day edition, one with a heart. The original, which if I ever got a Hello Kitty tattoo, which I definitely would consider getting, I would get her looking in her little outfit. Cause I, I don't know, when I envision Hello Kitty, she's always wearing this outfit to me. Did I show them all? Did we see this one? I don't know if you guys saw that one with the Santa hat. And then it has one with a candy cane too. I have like a whole set of holiday ones. I don't know where I got those. I think I actually bought them myself in the store. I don't think I got them at a flea market or thrift store. But if you look back at my videos, you'll be able to tell. So we are gonna do the TYs next. I don't care for TYs. I, it's not even about like the value or anything of them. I just never, I had so many as a kid and I'm just not like, I'm over it. So the ones that I do have, it's either because like, here, I'll just show you. So this was a Halloween theme one. I had this in like my last haul video that I got at the flea market. I got it because it's Halloween and I'm like obsessed with Halloween stuff. Hence my Hello Kitty and the Build-A-Bear. But um, this one has like specks. I don't know if you can see the glitter in it. It's super cute. It's name, if you're wondering, is Haunted or something like that, I believe. Haunt, yeah. That's from 2000. I have this little guy and I love these little tags so they don't get like ruined. Uh, this one's like a little durable. His name is Reese. So I have him because I love hamsters and little animals. I have this pumpkin I got at the flea market. Or no, why do I keep saying flea market? This was definitely Goodwill again because I remember digging for it. And it has like a little tag for its thing and everything. And his name is... Oh, it doesn't say it on here. It says 1999 though. Well, this is from 1999. It's a pumpkin. You can find it online. Uh, my piggy 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 is Lulao. I had this as a child. I gave it to my best friend Jenna when she moved away and then I ended up purchasing one for myself years later because I love pigs. I used to be like obsessed with them. We have this girl, oh my gosh, I had her in my video the other day in my live stream. This is called Glitzy Gabby and my name obviously is Gabby if you don't know that already. So I, I didn't even know that until I got home. So it was just like twist of fate that I got this doll. Cause I thought about keeping them like I might sell it, but she has my name so obviously I can't sell her. She looks like me, the blonde version of me. Sorry guys, my camera battery decided to just go on me. But this one I remember distinctly getting it from a video store when I was younger by my house. And eventually I you know, got rid of it. So I wanted another one because I love chihuahuas. They're the cutest little things ever. So if some of you guys missed the video where I, I said it, I think it was like a live stream or something. I am going to Disney in July. It's my first time there. I'm seeing my best friend of 12 years that I haven't seen in 12 years. Uh, I'm really psyched. So let's do Disney next. I don't have, I have like four Disney stuffed animals in my collection. So I want to get like a stuffed animal when I'm down there to commemorate my trip. But this is an applause Winnie the Pooh with his little honey pot. And he does talk when you put the honey pot up to his mouth. So I can show you that. Actually, no, I can't because I took the batteries out. But I take all the batteries out of like toys that talk if I can because I don't want any corroding or acid in them. But yeah, he like talks when you put his honey pot up to his mouth and says like cute phrases. So I have him. 
This I got at, that was a yard sale. This was a Goodwill. It is a little vintage Daisy Duck. And I like how her mouth, like you could make her like she's yelling at Donald Duck. I love her. I think she's simply just so freaking cute. And she is from Mattel, actually. Next, we have my little baby flounder that my best friend Lex gave me from Walt Disney World. I love this because my favorite movie is in Little Mermaid. Throw that behind. And then last but not least, I bought this online on Instagram through a seller. And it's Tarzan, the little ape, his little friend. I forget the name. I know that Rosie O'Donnell's the voice of it. That's awful. I can't remember it. The person, but I remember the person who voice acted it. Anyways, has just like a little banana and it talks and says funny phrases and stuff. But I think that's so freaking cute. Because like Tarzan was my shit back in the day. Next up for you, I have all like my like miscellaneous little stuffed animals. I think I might combine my vintage ones with them because I don't have that many. But this one says United Kingdom and it's an ice cream cone and it is like massive and squishy. This is actually from budsies.com if you want to guys check that out. It's not sponsored or anything by them before. You're like, Gabby. no, not sponsored. Um, I wish, but it's called budsies.com and pretty much what you do is you can draw a picture of like anything, send it to them and they'll make it into a stuffed animal, which is like insane. So my cousin Zoe made this for my birthday like two years ago, this giant ice cream cone that's blue with this little like Britain flag on it. I'm like obsessed and I told her, I was like, I want the United Kingdom one because I'm obsessed with the UK. I love my British followers. I love you. You know that. Like I just, I love it. I have this koala that plays music. He's like a vintage no-namer. I just thought he was really simply cute for the fact that he's a music box in him. I love musical stuffed animals. They're so cute, the vintage ones. I have this one. It says made in China on its little tag. And it's just this like pink fair bear that's vintage. I think he's just so freaking cute. He like sits in the pile of your hand as I flop him back onto the pile. This my dad got me when he went to New York to go fishing the one year when I was younger. Tag says big sky carvers. But yeah. It says 2005, so that was a very long time ago. But uh, yeah, I think I was in fifth grade and my dad brought it home for me. It has a little rainbow pink fish. I don't know, it's cute. This is another one my daddy bought me and it is just a little giraffe that I got from a place called Country Junction when I was very, very young. And his name is Giraffe Hovis. Yes, that is his name. Don't wear it out. My only fear right now is running out of camera <laughs> on my phone. I just said that before. This is another little vintage one. We got a little carousel horse. We have an eat it all ice cream boy vintagey dolly. Now that was both from a flea market. This is from a flea market. My little vintagey bear. I think it's the sweetest little thing ever. Like I just I love it. And you could see it was like well loved by some child, which I love when you can see like the wear of somebody that just love that stuffed animal so much. I have this little guy and he is a watermelon. <laughs> I think it's so freaking cute. It's a little plush watermelon. Oh, I forgot this one before. I actually forgot two Disney ones I'll have to show you. Uh, here is Gumball the Bear. Very cute, very cute. I need the Gumball because my great grandmother gave this to me uh, before she passed. So that's my Gumball Bear. I have, I'll just throw this in, whatever. This is from the Disney Store. It says, You Fluffy, originally created by Disney Store Japan. So they made like a whole, this came out around like the spring, Easter, April-ish, maybe March. And it says, I smell like a rose. And it smells like a rose. It smells delicious. I got Chip because I love Chip. I just thought this was the cutest little squishy, plushy little guy. And he smells great. And it's just, I love it. I love looking at it. Uh, so that is my vintage and one Disney stuffed animal. I forgot the part with my double Mickeys. So I have one Mickey and then <laughs> he's just lying up there. And then I have another Mickey that I bought. Uh, they saw my video the other day. So I got like two of them. I might be selling the one. I don't know. Like I don't even know if they work. They're just here living their best life with me. <sighs> got a couple more. We're done. All right. So this I actually got like two seconds ago in a trade because my mom's an antique dealer and came home and was like, oh, it's Barbie. You want to trade for it? Obviously, I have a million items. I'm like, sure, let's trade for it. It has these little padded paws, 
where like on, if it had like a leash attached to it it would like look like it's walking does anybody remember these as a kid I have to clean it up in a little bit but this is really cute look at them it's a Barbie one these were TY's but the tag isn't on them but I'm obsessed with the show Peppa Pig and that's why I bought them I was like I don't even care if there's no tags I want them just because they're Peppa Pig and they're freaking stinking adorable I just need little pep little pep I got her parents but not her if you guys saw my video where I feel like I look so bad with my face cut off here you can just look at my neck if you guys saw my video where I said goodbye to Toys R Us, I got, this is my last purchase from Toys R Us. It's just a brand, uh, newer Reglats, uh, Lil doll, stuffed animal, whatever you want to call it. My fur real friend's kitten. All it does, really honestly, is purr and move its little paws around. I wish its eyes would blink, that would be great. That one's from, I believe, like 2004, so obviously fur real friends has really, like, upped their game, as you know. I have two web cans. I have this black like sailor cat. I forget what I even named it. I think I named it Salem or something like that because I used to have a cat named Salem. And I got rid of it because I'm allergic to cats. And then I have this one. That was my first webkin. I named it Moo Moo. I used to have a crap ton of webkins as a kid. Uh, next I have from the dinosaur show, Bailey. <laughs> This, I love it so much. I could tell you the day, the time when I got it, because I remember clearly. I was so excited. I was like, this is the cutest thing ever. Because I love, like, stuffed animals that have the vinyl on them. I think that's, like, my favorite kind ever. This I got at a yard sale. It's a Carter's baby toy, but watch what it does. It kicks its freaking leg. I have two Neopets. This is a Kugra, I think is like, be yeah, baby Kugra. It's just really cute. It has this little tag. He's so soft and fuzzy. I got him on an Instagram sale, and this was also from an Instagram sale. And if you're not familiar with um, Neopets, this one is a Psy Bunny. And they were very, very hard to get in the game, from what I remember. This Ashley Berry I got on... Yeah, Ashley Berry Fisher Price I got on a trade on a Facebook group. So there she is, this little... Queen. I have this little guy from, what is it, the Mario series where he can eat your car, your little, do you know what I'm talking about when you do Mario Kart and he's like, ah, let's eat your car. Yeah. This is my OG Teletubby from as a kid. You could tell its body has like this pilling on it because I love the crap out of it. And it doesn't have its little pack because when I was a kid and Teletubbies first came out, uh, they were cursing and I don't want to say the word because it's offensive. But people were saying that they were saying um, the F word and it's not. My mom took the battery thing out of it and just gave me the stuffed animal. And yeah, there is my little baby Poe. This was from an Instagram sale. This is my first glowworm. I'm only having one because it's not, like I know some people like collect crap tons of them, but I just needed one and I love this one so much. I think the starry cap is so cute in this like mint color. So I have my baby glow warm, and I don't even know if this works to be honest, uh, no clue in my mind. This I forgot, I got this for me one Valentine's Day, it's just a random dog. I have my magic nursery bear, I'm obsessed that I found this in the wilderness the other day already. I'm literally still hooked on the fact that I own one, I think they're the cutest little sweetest things. There's a kitty, I think there's a bunny, and there's a bear of the magic nursery pets. There might be more though, I'm not very sure. I have one of the magic troll dolls as well with a soft body and it's crazy hair and the rubber face. I love this. I got that at a flea market. Ooh, you sound like you hit somebody. Uh, I have uh, this is a blue peep. I love peeps. So I thought this was really cute. I know they make them like huge sizes, but I just have like a beep beep one. And then, last but not least, I love this one. I hope you guys do too. This is my Franklin stuffed animal. I got this at a thrift store. Tell me a story. And he talks still, and he's just so precious. It was one of my favorite shows as a kid. So I have a Franklin stuffed animal. So guys, this is my stuffed animal collection. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please again, thumbs it up, and I'll see you in the next video. I feel like I need a nap. Bye, guys. Yeah.